Another exciting new feature of ALICE 3 is the ability to export modified ALICE classes to be used in other projects. As an example, here is our Mad Hatter that has walking behavior. It has a series of procedures we have built that allows the Mad Hatter to give us a, a walk. And here uh, in the code, you see that the Mad Hatter walks, and then he's going to perform the walking motion three times, and then the walk ends. So that when we click Run, we see that the Mad Hatter has a walk that we're reasonably pleased with. Walking is an interesting problem to solve the first time, but to have to recreate it over and over can become tedious. And so what I want to do is I want to be able to use this walking Mad Hatter in, in other stories or projects that I build. And so in Alice 3, the latest version, I am now able to go to the class menu and select the Mad Hatter class and bring up the Mad Hatter class representation which shows the list of all the procedures and functions and properties that belong to the version of Mad Hatter that is in this program. And we have two new buttons up in the right hand side. The one on the far right is save to class file. So I click on save, give it a name. I'm going to call it walking Mad Hatter. I'm going to save it to the my classes folder. Alice 3 gives you a My Classes folder by default, or you can choose to save it in a different location on your computer. But I'm going to just use the My Classes folder. Click on Save. Turns out I already have one there. That's okay. And so now I have saved out or exported this walking Mad Hatter. It is one thing to have saved out a class. What we would like now to do is import it into a different project and take advantage of the work that we have done before. So I have created a new Alice project that has only the ground and the camera and, and the scene in it. And now I want to add my walking Mad Hatter to it. So I click on Setup Scene, find the My Classes tab, in the gallery and there's my new Mad Hatter from the walking Mad Hatter. So I click to add it to my project. Click OK and now what comes up is a dialog box that's going to show us the procedures that we are going to bring in with walking Mad Hatter and the check marks give us a chance to say yes I want them or no I don't. There's a, a column here of procedures that Walking Mad Hatter may already have. And then there's an, there's an end result of what is going to be now in this Mad Hatter class. It's important to recognize and remember that Alice 3 works with classes, not with objects. So I'm not bringing in one object that has this behavior, but that in fact I am redefining or merging this new Mad Hatter class with the existing Mad Hatter class that may already be in my project. I click on Next and it will show me the contents of each of these uh, new behaviors. I click on Finish. There he is. And now when I go back to Edit Code, I see all the functions uh, that I had created in the other project are now, now available to me. And so I can, again, recreate that program if I want with the walk start, count three times, walk, walk end. And when I run the project, there he goes, toddling off the screen.